Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for another Murder Monday. Today we are jumping into episode six of Murder Drone. So let's get ready to hop in. As always, if you are checking this out for the first time as well, please check out the original video without me talking over top of it. Go check it out. I have a link down in the description below. But if you have already seen it, I hope you enjoy the reaction. And if you do, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really helps these videos out. Then I'll send it out of the way. Let's go ahead and hop into episode six, Dead End. Here we go. I hate late stage capitalism. Have you seen this dog? Sheep need vacations from their vacations. Wolves need jobs from their jobs. <laughs> what? That's that's funny. I'm I assume we're at the company. One of them's got the spinning wheel of death. Oh. Um. Oh, it sounded like a raptor from Jurassic Park. That was almost the exact same sound effect, if not the same sound effect. Oh. Oh, it's moving like one too. In the tail? But it's got this light that locks them into a loading screen. So the J that got killed wasn't even the real J, but a clone? Then are they even the real N and V? That raises a lot of questions right there, man. Effective drones were cloned more. Ah, it is you. J. Sin disappeared on Earth. Boss ran away. We mutually disengaged. The last known act was sticking you lot on the human exoplanets. Why? That's what we're trying to figure out. Oh, Sin went missing and she's been going to these exoplanets. So she... Ooh. Oh. There's a doll. Okay. Yo, whoa, we're just getting right into it. Wow. Zone of life and construct spire. Step two. Interlabs with this symbol. Not too much to go off. But oh. Sin wants these labs. We burn them down. That key box our way in. Oh, so they're here to stop Sin. And she. Wait. Oh. 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 Hmm. Okay. Jay, mind my ship. Of course, boss. Why in bold doll? What's happening to her? She reckons the humans did something to her folks down here. Gave them a sickness she inherited. And? Tell me more. I think she's right. Coming or what? Interesting. The plot thickens. <laughs> she was petting it and is the secret elevator labeled? Oh. 
how her tail is nomming on N's hat. Oh, lovely. Anti-drone sentinels. Don't look at the light or into the light. Secret elevator. Huh. Radio. Sources say that was Oh. Um, what the hell was that? <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. Oh, whoa. <laughs> hey, surface slickers. <gasps> what the fuck? They're just drones that have been surviving in the wastes. Rebooting. What the fuck? Override code one, two, three, four. Oh, lovely. Sentinels picked at this one. I try not damage good parts. Of course, some parts are more valuable than others, ain't they? Are valuable. Whoa, hey, cut that thing up and you're gonna get a big creepy worm. An improvement. Nah, he keeps them sluggish. In our first rodeo. Oh, whoa. Okay. Those were corrupted cores. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Dealt with witches for it, too. <laughs> Though, I ain't seen Zero Two since she left us to die. <laughs> Zero Two, her mom. She pointed to the necklace she's wearing or whatever. I don't know. And is the magnet disrupting her ability to use the solver? That's unfortunate. Makes sense. I would imagine these advanced robots would have magnetic shielding, but as we learned uh, episodes ago, hell, in the first episode, uh, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did they, were they, were they, wait, hold on, hold on. Rewind. They taped this magnet to her helmet. Obviously, it's not going to stick to her because she doesn't have anything magnetic in her skull. So why then still feel the need to tape it to her head? Or do they not believe she's human and was just confused as to why the magnet wasn't sticking to begin with? Why duct tape it? Why duct tape it to her helmet? Why? <laughs> Great, dude. And whose side? Tried sawing there?
walk and talk. How'd you know my mom? Was she cool? She didn't suck, did she? Back to the others! Scepter yellow eyes. Easy, creep. You've got the wrong. <sighs> Nori, right? Sure thought killing all them folks was pretty slick. <laughs> Wait, stop! Seriously? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> They've got to be in there, right? No worries. We'll save me. I looks like code. And Uzi. Want to take a gander at Earthen? No, Tessa. We don't have time. Dude, they are raptors. <laughs> yeah, look at them. Wow. What are we seeing? a damaged AI took sin as a host and then created that black hole that you know her mom was scribbling about a singularity too wasn't she like it was in her like creepy spooky closet where her father was hoarding all of her old shit and we did see one looming over the mansion in one of those flashbacks so like it destroyed everything is that what she's trying to do here with these spires and everything as well. The humans who saw what was happening at home thought they could understand it. Oh, whoa. All they did was spread it. Then, Uzi, you can fix her, right? Oh. That's why you're here? I'm here to find which drones were infected. When we get to the labs and find that list, I'll need you to choose the universe over one little drone, and before she's not herself anymore. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> Clever girl. I'm sorry, after the fucking Chris Pratt movies, I can't take seriously any time somebody does this to a fucking dinosaur. And I get the point here. She's like, I'm human, stop, it's okay. But it's even blue, it's even blue. It's because in the movies it became a meme. Like in the first one's fine, it makes sense when he's the trainer of this. But he like in every movie after that, it's just like, he thinks his hands are fucking 
magical weapons. I can't take it seriously. Oh, shit! Seems like they feel the same way. Wait, whoa, 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 what was that message? <laughs> Blood detective. Objective, be a nice dingo. Eliminate the targets. It's getting conflicting messages. Oh, it took itself out. Oh my god, more just keeps showing up. Yo. Oh! Oh, she tried so hard to use the solver. Is that why? She was straining desperately, desperately to be able to get out of this situation. Trying to access it, use it to push through the magnets, to push through this to the point where it just took over. Sin has taken over. Whoa! What? She can just... Make a black hole? What the fuck is this thing? What in the world, dude? What? That is wicked. But I love that. It was like she was possessed for a minute. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they are just using sound clips from Jurassic Park. No. What a good little egg. Uzi wasn't awake to do that. Well, she healed. Wakey, wakey. Who did that? Or was that just the one she shot out still going through its processes? I don't know, man. You're boot looped, idiot. We're leaving. I can take a squeeze. You said you could control the Sentinels. I? Well, at least they can't bird loop me. We'll just do whatever you want. N? It's okay, N. I haven't been honest with V yet. What did she tell you? Uh, ow. Oh, my freaking head. Hold still. Oh, nice. Hmm. No. <laughs>
think you can follow it to the secret elevator. Oh! Looks like she got hit before she could make it there. Please place me on proximity That's something. Convenient to trap. Yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, the more she uses it, the more it takes over. So I guess it wasn't a trap. She's back online. Well, it was a trap. The spinning thing was a gif. Nice. Smart. Um. Damn. Oh no. That's rude. Uh oh. I don't think it's going to work this time. Every time she uses it, the singularity is forming. Whoa! That was sick! Did I get it? Oh, he chopped off her hand. Ooh, that missed me. Using the glasses. That's smart. She's going to cut the cables. Shit. That's where we're going to cut it off. Holy shit. One thing I do want to go back to, it is when she was talking to N about what this thing is. We know it mutates in damaged AI. It mutates in damaged AI. So is that why it manifests and grows in strength with the ones that go through those failed uh, decommissionings where they've been damaged or corrupted makes them easier to skew and infect. It took sin as a host. Then and it took everything. It took everything. And it can just create 
these singularities and create this organic matter and evolve and mutate. It's almost like it's some kind of organic AI. I don't know. It's interesting. The humans here they saw what was happening at home. Thought they could understand it. They were studying it here. Oh, that was oh, Nori did. on it. That's why she had the scribblings, the visions and all that. That's what happened to her mother. O2. Nori. So then was Uzi just born with it and it was latent and that's how it activated? Then you have Dull kind of acting on its directives as well, or is she trying to be counter to it? I'm a little confused on Dahl's motivations. I don't know, she doesn't have the yellow. She doesn't have the indications of sin. She's just red. We've only seen her color coding be red up until this point. We haven't seen any flickers. Uzi, however, on the other hand, has already shown signs of sin just completely taking over. You know, when she was strapped to the table with those magnets on her head, like she was uh, reaching in, reaching out even to the solver, to this thing that can influence the world around them. Like it goes beyond just being a subroutine in their OS. Like it affects the world outside of their, their bodies. They can manipulate reality to extent from the telekinesis to creating singularities to literally mutating and transforming their bodies into this organic, inorganic hybrid thing. I don't know, man. All they did was spread it. Then who's... Does it just... Is it a hive or is it a singular entity? Where did it come from? What is this thing? Like, how did it find sin? What is its objective? You know, when they got here too, they said something about her building these spires. Where was that? Here it is. One. Clear drop zone of life and construct spire. Clear drop zone of life, construct spire. Step, Step two. two. Labs with this symbol. Find these labs. Because those labs then would be where they were experimenting on other people with this infection then, right? So is she trying to gather them, accumulate them, and assimilate them to get stronger to bring those hosts together? Eddie Denomina here real quick. I just want to put this in here because I just realized going through the reaction that I, I forgot to completely mention at all the revelation that it was Sin, not the humans, that sent the murder drones to these exoplanets to start exterminating all the life here and all the drones and all of that. So that answers a lot of those questions that I had earlier on about why they are doing this, why they need to do what they do to sustain themselves. Because it seems like a weird flaw, a design flaw to implement as a human engineer building these things. That's because it's not. It's, it's sin propagating and progressing their plan for this like expansion, this takeover. Anyway, I wanted to throw that out there that that didn't go missed and now in knows all about this and knows that this thing is an infection so when uzi is now trying to use this power that has been this source of strength up until this point because it's something she doesn't know what it is she doesn't understand it but now that he knows that he's like every time she tries to use it he tries to stop her you know the more she wields it the more it takes over the more sin starts to kind of creep in and start to hijack her body. But why is Dahl so able to freely use it without any kind of influence from Sin? Or maybe she's figured some way out to keep Sin out of it while she can use the solver. But that also explains why Uzi was able to mutate. But then we had these like su survivors who were out here in the waste, picking apart people they would find, taking the best resources, the best ingredients from whoever they could find and scavenge them and salvage them for themselves almost in this like hills have eyes kind of uh wrong turn vibes and we had the sympathetic little egg droid that kind of was able to kind of help them out in the end you know it felt a little bad about what it was doing even though they were doing it to survive the other one didn't give two shits about any of it. it was just survival was its only directive then we have these literal velociraptor robots Exact sound effects, sound clips, sound bites from Jurassic Park and everything. I'm honestly surprised they didn't drop a clever girl in this. I like the way they played with that. And they had these lights that freeze them up. You know, they're supposed to not attack humans, but everything that's going on has left them a little decrepit, a little damaged in the way these things are going on. Like it just kind of worked, kind of didn't. Added some intensity to the situation as they were trying to figure out what to do. 
And this ties it back to the secret elevator here, to the elevator at the cab. And also, there's a lot going on. A lot of little pieces here getting revealed over and over again. And then we have this sacrifice from V, who in the end, after everything that's been going on within and her attachment there, that she's been able to bury that, I don't know, unease, that bloodlust, and just be like, hey, I trust you. Do your thing. Take care of him. Get out of here. Held off the horde in a sacrifice. So we didn't see it. We didn't see it, though. But one can presume. So who knows what's going to happen there. But that was an impactful ass moment, dude. I really, I, I thought that was pretty sweet. I'll tell you right now, the one thing I am confused about, because this answers a lot of questions, it raises some, but some that I'm not concerned about at the moment. The main thing I'm concerned about right now, and I don't know if I'm not understanding it, or if I'm just blanking out, having a massive brain fart, is just trying to understand what Doll is doing right now. You know, we saw her give this key to Tessa in exchange for, don't know, you know, then she's here trying to impede that just to get the key again, just to open the thing, but then tried to stop them from going down there like she just wanted in. Maybe, maybe having the key wasn't the only thing. Maybe they needed a human. Maybe that's why Tessa had to be lured here. I mean, having the access code isn't all they need. So when they came in there and Tess opened, it was like, oh, that was convenient. And then she faked. Uh, turned off the gif and woke up and uh, went on the onslaught she's going in there to find out more but like again she's why is she trying to go down here and and open this up because that was again sin's orders build these spires cleanse the planet of life and go down and open up these labs where i assume they kept all the specimens from their tests on this virus <sighs> Again, why is Doll went down there so much? I mean, again, the red, it's just, they're, they're, they've called out the importance of the color scheme at this point. Right now, it's just our presumptions based on context clues right now. But they straight up is like, hey, you don't have the orange glow. It's the only difference right now. And we know that we can associate with that Sin's infection to some extent. But like, hell, and then Sin just completely taking over in some of these instances, creating these little singularities to get out of these little pockets. I don't know, dude, but I am invested and they've got me hooked with this mystery at this point, the way things are parsing out too, because now the in knows a little bit more about what is going on. He's very conflicted about what to do, because if Sin gets what she wants, if Uzi being infected, whether knowingly or unknowingly, helps progress that plot, he's got to make a choice, either to take her out to stop Sin, or, you know, humanity existence, drones of all kinds, everything falls to shit, falls prey to this virus as it continues to spread. So there's a crossroads that we're going to be approaching at some point that I'm curious to see how they cross that, which path he takes, or maybe she can figure out to do this or find some semblance of balance and disconnect in the way that I assume Doll has. If Sin isn't seemingly controlling her, she's like after answers more than anything. That seems to be her driving factor, but like, like how comes she, because we've seen her use it way longer and more than Uzi has by this point, but she hasn't seemed to change in the way that Uzi has. So again, that might be because her mother had it before her and maybe maybe the solver and Sin aren't exactly the same. Maybe that's why Doll can access it, but she doesn't have the corruption that is the Sin part of the AI. I don't know. But I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I'll leave the speculation to once we get a little more answers, a little more clarity. We only have two more episodes after this. I'm very interested in seeing how this comes to an end. So with that said, sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We're carrying the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember to support the original video. Make sure to check it out. Link is in the description below. And before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherry, York, or Scott, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey L., Jay Cantrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Sam Oyer. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.